Hey guys, it's Jen. I wanted to join you today to show you how to use a Disney eye broidery design with an existing mug rug and how to combine those patterns within your embroidery machine. So I'm using the Brother XP1 Lumineer for this uh, demonstration. We are going to be using the uh, Let It Snow mug rug from the Happy Holidays collection and um, a design from iBroidery. So the first thing I do, and it might be a little tough to see because of the lighting, is I print out the color layer sheet. Uh, these are included with all the design files. It gives you each step of the design and it makes it easy to know which steps that you are going to skip when combining these designs. So for the Let It Snow mug rug, there are, let's see, 16 steps. So I marked off steps seven through um, 15 as the design features that we are gonna skip. So in order to even get to that point, we're gonna merge these designs on our machine. So I have both designs loaded wirelessly to my machine. So we're gonna to go to the pocket. We're gonna to go to the wireless pocket or folder, and we're gonna find the mug rug, which is right here. So you're gonna load your mug rug first. I'm gonna hit set. And <clears throat> I usually try to choose the design that has the least amount of stitching um, or one that's easy to see or one that kind of lines up with the design that you are going to lay on top of it so you can have like an easier time placing uh, the eye embroidery design. So you can see all the steps here. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to add the eye embroidery design. Okay, so what you're gonna do is hit add. We're gonna go back to our pocket, to the wireless folder, and we're gonna pick our design. So, which is right here, it's Baby Yoda, and it is a pen extension. That is the iBroidery extension. Uh, the Disney files do not allow for any editing um, in software. It does not allow any editing on your machine. You cannot merge it directly with files. So this is the easiest way to add a design, or Disney design regardless, to an existing design. All right, so we're gonna select the Baby Yoda. You can see he's already centered. We're gonna hit set. Now, if you need to, which I'm gonna do so you can see, you can go to the magnifier and you can magnify, let's try 150, it might be two. So 150% so you can see it a lot better. So. Baby Yoda's right there in the center, and he is selected. You can tell by the red box around him, plus he's pictured here. So that's the design selected. If you needed to get to the mug rug, you would just select that one above it, and it would move to that design. So what you're going to do is you're going to hit edit, and we are going to rotate our design 90 degrees. And then from here, so he is centered, we're going to use the arrow functions down here to move him into position. So I like to get it, so you can't, it's hard to see, but there is a little snowflake there. So because he's larger, there are some bits right here that would go onto the fabric. Plus I want him to be down more in line with the let it snow. So we're gonna go ahead and move him down some to probably the bottom of the S. You can see the red box moving. So my red box is lined up with the S. All of the features are in on this side. There is like one or two tiny little dots that will get caught onto the fabric, but I think that's fully fine in my book. So then you're gonna hit okay. So both designs are laid together. Now we need to skip the steps in order to stitch him correctly. So you're gonna go ahead and hit embroider. Now, I have already pre-stitched out steps one through six, it's to speed up the video. So we're gonna hit the plus minus button. So you can see 
all here are all of our layers it's zero to 24 so we're going to go ahead and hit step two step three four five six is the quilting and then this is where our design features would start so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and skip all the way forward to the baby yoda design so i know you can sit here and just keep going forward or you can select up here the first color of the baby yoda design which i know is this blue layer here so i want to make sure you can go right here there's the back of the mug rug down so this is the first step of the baby yoda design so we're going to stitch up baby yoda and then once we're done we're going to back up to the final step of the mug rug so i'm going to go ahead and move the camera and let you watch him in super fast motion stitch up baby yoda and then we'll come back and we will put it all together So you can see that my design is all stitched out. There are a couple little uh, snowflakes here and that's totally fine with me. So the final step of the process is going to be going backwards to step 16, which is the back. And you are going to go ahead and place your back following the directions in the PDF. And we're going to go ahead and secure our back. Okay, so I went ahead and turned on the lights and I'm going to show you the finished uh, mug rug. You can see here under the light, um, I picked up this really cute Star Wars Hanukkah fabric at the sewing studio. It's by Camelot Fabrics and I used Essex Linen Metallic for the uh, plain side where the design is. I also made another Seasons Greetings Baby Yoda in a snow globe, also purchased from iBroidery. So now you know how to add designs to your mug rugs, and hopefully that helps. And uh, let me know if you use iBroidery designs. <laughs>